10, 9, nine 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the liftoff of the Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon spacecraft filled with science and supplies for humanity's research outpost in low Earth orbit, the International Space Station. SpaceX ascent commentary will be performed by several people. The propulsion engineer calls out propulsion events. The avionics engineer calls out avionics health and dragon separation. The range coordinator calls out Air Force satellite control network acquisition and loss of signal. And the ground station specialist calls out the SpaceX antenna acquisition and loss of signal. At one minute, five seconds after liftoff, Falcon 9 reaches transonic speed. The vehicle will pass through an area of maximum dynamic pressure, known as max Q, at 1 minute 18 seconds after liftoff. This is the point where mechanical stress on the rocket reaches its peak because of the rocket's velocity and resistance created by Earth's atmosphere. Around 2 minutes 24 seconds into the flight, the nine Merlin engines will sequentially shut down and you'll hear the call MECO, which is main engine cutoff. This first stage will perform a boost back burn about 15 seconds later heading back to nearby Cape Canaveral Air Force Station Landing Zone 1. We'll show you the landing on NASA TV about eight minutes after launch, accompanied by the sonic boom just before landing. MVAC engine chill has started. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight of Falcon, carrying Dragon toward the International Space Station.